Supreme Court sided with the Biden administration, permitting it to contact social media companies and flag content officials have said was misinformation. ABC's M. Wynn has the, has the very latest from Washington. Today, the Supreme Court ruled against limiting how the White House contacts social media companies. It's a win for the Biden administration that argued it should be able to contact companies to address misinformation, especially related to public health and election integrity. In a 6-3 to three decision, the justices threw out the case on standing, meaning those who brought the case didn't have legal standing. Justice Barrett writing the opinion, saying we lack jurisdiction to reach the merits of the dispute. Justice Alito dissenting, saying this is one of the most important free speech cases to reach this court in years. This all comes as the Supreme Court hands down its final decisions of the term. One of the biggest cases of the year, Donald Trump's immunity claim. Justices will decide whether and to what extent a former president can claim absolute immunity from criminal prosecution for conduct alleged to involve official acts. A president has to have immunity. If, if you don't have immunity, you just have a ceremonial president. That decision to play a key role in the criminal cases Trump still faces, especially his federal election interference case. Also outstanding, a case brought by a man who allegedly breached the U.S. Capitol during the January 6 attack. He argues he's been improperly charged with obstruction of an official proceeding because the law used by prosecutors was written for business and financial crimes. The court's decision could affect charges against more than 350 other January 6 defendants. The end of the Supreme Court's term is expected to wrap up in the next few days. As for those looming decisions, they could also make a big impact in the first presidential debate tomorrow. M. Wynn, ABC News, Washington.